You asked why the Bronx uh, produced so much musically. And of course, it's the birthplace of hip hop. It was one of the epicenters of doo-wop, Latin jazz, salsa. I grew up in the Bronx at a time when salsa music was in full swing and full regalia. There was music everywhere. It was really, really thriving. In the old days, you learned how to play in school in school. I mean, that we took it seriously. At every corner, there was a different band rehearsing. There were lots of clubs. The 845 Club, Kenny's, Freddy's. It was nothing to see these bands play in the streets. You would see Tito Winter playing. They would block off the street and have a festival. The Bronx was happening, man. I mean, I can't sell you enough on it. The Bronx had this incredible history, musically, and uh, <clears throat> it was virtually wiped out. But now what I see is a, a renaissance coming to the community. All of these things that uh, were taken away, particularly the arts, are coming back in full force. And we're at the center of activity in that. I see when, when we do events here, people walking by and smiling, and then they come in for the first time. And they go, oh my God, I didn't know this was here. They bring their kids, and all of a sudden, they're, they're having a conversation with their kids about their own culture. There is art here, there is intelligence here, and there is majesty. That the, the people that represent all of these cultures that live in this neighborhood are to be respected. They contribute to the vibrancy of the city.